Here's a tip for Pro Tools users if you're not hearing some or all of your tracks during playback. Of course, the first couple of things you want to look at is if any tracks are muted. Here's your mute button. If that's muted, you won't hear the track. Another reason why you'll hear some tracks but not others is if one or more tracks are soloed. So check the mix window or your edit window to see if tracks are muted or soloed. Next, make sure that each audio track's voice is enabled. Typically, this voice assignment button on each track should say DYN or dynamic. If it is set to off, the track will not play. And then check to see if volume is turned up enough so you hear the track. Once you've verified these things, then check to see if Pro Tools is really playing. If I hit play, I'm hearing something and I'm also seeing the timeline move as I hit play. Now, if some tracks or all tracks are still not playing, check the outputs of the track. I like to do this in the mix window since it's always visible. Go to output and I see that my track is set to my hardware, which is an Mbox 2. If some tracks are still not playing, go down the list and see if some of them are not assigned properly. If your output assignment doesn't seem right, or it appears to be in italics, the next thing I do is check our hardware setup. I'll start checking this by going to Setup Menu, Playback Engine. At the top of this window, I check to make sure the Playback Engine is set to my hardware, in this case an Nbox. If you don't see your hardware there, check to make sure it's connected. And if it still doesn't show up, you might go to the manufacturer website and download and install the latest drivers. The next thing I tend to do once I verify the hardware is connected is go to Setup Menu, I.O. Since we're interested in playback, let's look at the output page. Now the hardware that I'm using right now really only has two outputs. If you're in doubt and it doesn't look right, you could either hit the default button, and if that doesn't help, I could select this and any other path down the left-hand side and choose Delete Path. You might be warned that it's in use, but I would delete it anyway. Then I'd click Default. Pro Tools will look at the hardware outputs available and line up the output paths to match. Then I could go to Bus and hit Default to match everything up there. You'll notice that since I deleted my output paths and hit Default, all of my outputs are now set to No Output. I can reset these by holding the Alt key on my Windows machine or the Option key on my Mac, choose one output, set it to the proper output, and all tracks that are similar for example, audio tracks, will also change to the new output. This set of steps almost always gets my audio playing back if and when a track or all tracks are not playing. Hopefully, this will be helpful to you. Thanks for watching.